The USDA National Agricultural Statistics Service released the prospective plantings data along with the quarterly grain stocks report midday on Friday. Expectations ahead of the two key reports were for increases in corn, soybean and wheat supplies, causing downward pressure on the markets in recent weeks. The final data showed little surprise in the way of planting intentions for the 2017 growing year. Corn planted area is estimated at 90 million acres, down 4 million acres from a year ago, and on par with estimates from the USDA Outlook Forum in late February. Soybean planted area for 2017 is estimated at 89.5 million acres, which is up 7% from 2016 and a record high. Wheat plantings are estimated at 46.1 million acres, down 8% from a year ago and nearly even with pre-report estimates. Finally, the quarterly grain stocks report showed corn as of March 1, 2017, totaling 8.62 billion bushels, up 10% from a year earlier, and generally in line with pre-report expectations. Soybean stocks came in at 1.73 billion bushels, up 13% from the previous year, and were slightly higher than initial estimates, resulting in bearish notes for soybean futures. For the complete rundown of the reports from UB Newswire, subscribers can click on the news link in Comtel. Next up, Ernerberry announces the latest addition to our suite of products with the launch of the Pork Book. Take a look. Introducing the Pork Book, Fundamentals of the Pork Trade from Farm to Table. This comprehensive guide for everything pork includes information about the history and nature of the pork industry, including infographics and charts, as well as information on pork production, packing and processing, preparation, and more. Published by Erna Berry in association with the North American Meat Institute, this book has been reviewed by experts in the pork industry, including PhDs from prestigious universities and industry professionals. Highlights of the pork book include a brief history, followed by swine breeds, stages of hog production, inside the packing plant, curing and further processing, cutting tests and yields, pictures of cuts with detailed descriptions, eating characteristics and qualities, preparation and cooking, pork production and the environment, statistics, definitions, and reviews. The Pork Book is a necessary educational tool for employees, customers, or anyone interested in pork. For just $49, you can gain the knowledge of a pork industry expert. Go to shop.earnerberry.com to get your copy today. Finally, we'll take a look at Ernerberry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's marketing assistant Nicole Christie with the latest movers of the week. Chicken whole breasts are rated full steady to firm. Demand is especially active in the export market as Canada continues to pull heavy. Offerings are limited at most points of sale and values are trending higher. In the pork market, few items were able to hold their ground against record year-over-year -year production levels. This robust production also comes at a time when pork sales are traditionally sluggish due to cooler weather and Lent observations. Loins were no exception last week and bone-in loins declined by 3.7% as a result. Larger production against years past has pressured beef prices. Ground beef fell over 7% as a result week to week. Demand during this time period is limited, so the industry is looking to the hamburger season as the next big push. Thanks, Nicole. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to head over to the News tab in Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.